Hi, Zhao Wei. Good morning. Thank you very much for arranging this meeting for me today. It has been a while since we met last time, and it is very nice to see you again. And I'm very sorry that we cannot meet, have this meeting face to face, you know, due to the impact of COVID-19. Yeah. Hi, Lin. Good morning. It's nice to meet you. And it's very unfortunately we can't meet with each other. Yes. Um, and I have noticed that the number of student enrollment from your institution has decreased a lot for the next semester. And I hope that this meeting could solve this pro uh, the problems with the student enrollment. Yeah, I hope I can also help. Uh, yes, sure, you know, we have been cooperating for over 15 years and uh, we have achieved a lot these years. And, you know, not only Utah has increased the, the student enrollment, but also our institution has increased uh, the reputation among international students. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, you know, Ion Institution is a very, very valuable customer for Utah. Uh, we appreciate your hard work very much. And uh, right now, we really want to keep working with, with your institution. And uh, we are trying, we want to try to solve the problem with the student enrollment. So would you mind share some of the um, issues that um, stop students from applying to our university? Yeah, as you know, um, due to the impact of COVID-19, that our students cannot come back to Australia. Oh, that's right. Do you mean that students in China, uh, they could not enter Australia due to the international travel ban in Australia? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I think... Um, you know, we are trying to discuss with the Australian government um, bringing Chinese students back. Yeah, I know, but I think it's just a, a plan, you know. Uh, this is no actual implementation right now. Um, students in China feel more desperate and disappointed about uh, the situation that they cannot come back. Mm. Okay, uh, um, you know, I heard from the Australian government that the border is expected to open at the beginning of next year, around February. So hopefully the students could come back um, next year. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, to cope with the challenges, we, um, we have uh, moved all the courses online so that students in China could also um, take the courses as well. Well, uh, um, speaking about uh, the online courses and uh, our students have been complaining about the expensive tuition fee for a long time um, because there is no point in paying such high amount of uh, say that only they can have the online classes in their home and without the face-to-face -face teaching. The experience about the foreigner, um, foreigner education uh, has lost its meaning. Mm. Oh, well, um, I also hope that the students could come back to Australia uh, early and they so that they could have on campus teaching. And for the tuition fees, I, I think the university has already provided a 10% discount for students from Ion Institution. Yes, mm -hmm. but as you know, at this stage, uh, the 10% discount for our students is not enough because uh, they think uh, Mm, the discount is not very, uh, very great for them because the high uh, student fee and uh, they cannot enjoy the uh, living experience in Australia. Mm, okay, I think I will talk about the student fees with the finance team, um, but like how many discounts do you think is reasonable? 
Mm, I think maybe 20% uh, uh, is reasonable for them. Mm. Well, actually, you know, I think 20% is a very large number. And um, even the students with scholarships, they could only get 25 discounts. So I think the finance team could uh, uh, increase the discounts to 15% for students from your institution. Um, and I will, if you could accept that, I can, I can talk up with the finance team when I come back. When I go back, yes. All right. I think fifteen percent discount uh, um, is reasonable, and uh, students also can accept. And I will talk about them and uh, tell them the new uh, the new information about uh, the fifteen percent. Okay, that would be great. Uh, thank you for that. So, are there any other issues with the student enrollment? Like, how do they feel about having online courses in China? Yeah, to be honest, um, as we know, the experience of online courses is not very good. Uh, yeah. What What is the What is the exact uh, problems? Mm, yeah, as you know, uh, we have the time difference between Australia and China. And if our students want to attend the class on time, they need to get up early or stay up uh, later. Um, mm. That uh, it uh, makes them feel very tired and uh, hard to arrange their timetable. Oh, yeah, that is hard, you, the time difference. Yeah, I think that is two hours difference. Um, but we, we, think we have asked our, our teachers to record the lectures and provide the recordings after class so that uh, if the Chinese students cannot attend the class or they uh, miss, miss the class for any reasons, they could uh, still watch the videos, uh, videos and the recordings. Uh, and, we, and our university also provide a assignment delay policy so that the students could submit their assignments after, uh, five days after the due day. Yeah, uh, we have heard about that. Um, that really helps our students. And uh, the other things that I think the internet connection is not very stable uh, nowadays. Mm, uh, students have to use a VPN to access some foreigner websites to search for their uh, mm, uh, some like journal and some information about their courses. Uh, and there also is a very high cost about uh, the internet, uh, internet um, connection fee, I think. Okay, um, for the uh, problems of the internet connection, I, I, we will try to fix the problem. We will um, have a further discussion with the VPN vendor and ask them to upgrade the connection so that the students in China, they can have a better online learning experience. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. And uh, mm, I think, uh, Is there like any other problems with the student yeah. Roman? Yes. We also have the problem about, I think, uh, we have talked about uh, uh, this, uh, this have for a long time, like you know, uh, the variety of the majors. Chinese students often complain that there are too few majors for them to choose from, except for the business and IT. And uh, I think if we can add in some other measures um, to help with students' environment, and it will attract more students to apply to tests. Mm. 
Oh, oh, that is a good idea. Um, we, we are actually planning on adding more majors because we understand that uh, Chinese students, what they want to study in different fields. But you know, the challenge is that some majors, they have requirements for enrollment and applying. For example, they require uh, the language scores or the pre-learning pre experience. Oh, yeah, that's true. But under the current situation about uh, the COVID-19, I think some measures are beneficial uh, to the overall environment, like the nursing and the psychological. Could you us provide some measure like this and uh, for the industry in placement and uh, in deep teaching? But uh, uh, because in uh, but not only in Australia, uh, but also um, all of all over the world, we all need the talents in some uh, in this profession in the future. Okay, yeah, I think that is correct. Um, so you mean that if we allow the students from your institution applying for more majors, the number of student enrollment will be increased? Is that correct? Yeah, I think, okay. uh, mm, yeah. Oh, thank you for that. Um, we will we will um, have a further discussion, and I think that is um, that is a good idea, and we will um, consider that. Thank you for that. So, uh, are there any um, ideas on like to attract more students? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, would you hear hear about uh, the? United States, uh, some university, they have set up the uh, China institution to attract students that uh, help their students enjoy the face-to-face -face learning in China. And uh, uh, some students is very happy to hear about uh, the news. And uh, uh, did you just have the plan? Oh yes, we uh, we heard about this plan before, and I think it is achievable, as we have already cooperated with your institution, and uh, uh, your institution has two schools. I think one is in Shanghai, and the other one is in Fujian. Is that right? Yeah. Um, that's correct. I think if. Uh, it has can send some teachers to China. Students will also be more motivated to apply to UTAS. Okay, so uh, I think that is a very good idea, and uh, I think that is achievable. So, like, if if you can ensure that at least four hundred students could apply for the university next year, we will send two or three teachers to China and deliver on-campus teaching in Ion institution until the Australian border opens. Wow, 400 students. Yeah, I will try my best. Uh, thank you, and um, are there any other concerns you may have? Uh, no, I think that is all for today. I have no problem. Thank oh, you. That's great. So I will go back and uh, sort out the details of today's conversation and send the contract to you by email. Is that all right? Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you as well. And um, hopefully more students will apply for Utah's next semester. Yes, I can guarantee that. Thank you so much. Um, see you and have a good day. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye.